an 8K camera that's smaller than my DSLR that I can use for vlogging and all my YouTube videos. Whoa, okay, back to reality. Um, recently at CES, if you haven't heard by now, Sharp announced a small micro four thirds kind of vlogging camera that will shoot 8K. So this camera is supposed to be under $5,000. It's just a prototype so far, but it got me really excited. It got me fantasizing about what I could do with this channel, with what's going on. But is 8K really practical? Can we really use it? Is this just a fantasy? Plus Canon's idea to make a full frame 8K camera in the video coming up. All right guys, I'm not gonna make this video long, but before we get into it, I just wanna take a moment to thank all the people who have subscribed to my channel, who have helped it grow. And when I started this channel, I first started it because I like travel, I like camera stuff. I've been a photographer for more than 10 years. I've also done a lot of filmmaking as well. And the focus of this channel has primarily been about drones and photography. So I'm gonna continue to do that, but even more, I'm gonna to try to make more videos this year for content creators. So basically, that's everyone, because anyone with a phone is basically a content creator, but I wanna focus on people who are more serious about content creation. So if that's you, please press the subscribe button and let's get right into this video. All right, so I'm gonna start by talking about the things that initially excited me about this new Sharp camera. When you think of Sharp, I think of televisions. I used to have uh, my first 42 inch television was a Sharp television, and obviously people know them for their TVs. They did make a camcorder, I know way back when, but they're not really in the photography or video game, but now they kinda wanna get into it. Why, I don't know. Why do they wanna jump to 8K? Most of you probably think they're out of their 8K minds. Nevertheless, it is an exciting topic for people who like technology, and for good reason. They're talking about a micro four thirds sensor on a prosumer camera. So it's gonna be a small camera with a flip out screen that they say is gonna be five inches. Now this is just a prototype model that is a five inch flip out screen. And in addition, they said it's gonna have really good audio with the HDMI out so you could record to an external recorder as well as a mini XLR and a headphone jack. So I don't know if their ideal customer is someone like James Cameron, but I'm certainly excited about this camera. They said it's gonna be under $5,000. They're gonna look more towards the $3,000 mark. So that's kind of nuts because an 8K camera now costs more in the lines of 50 grand or more. Now as a YouTuber and a content creator, probably the first two things that I look for in a camera is having good audio and having that flippy screen. Having that flippy screen, being able to set up the camera, see yourself to vlog, move around, is huge, all right? It's almost like a necessity. And the fact that really Canon is the only company that has done this really well, I like the idea of other companies getting doing this. And so the fact that Sharp wants to make this camera with this flip out screen that's five inches is just amazing. They also said that it's gonna be a touch screen, which is nothing new, but it's nice to have. So the rep at CES said that it's gonna shoot 8K up to 30 frames per second, and they're working on 60 frames per second, which is just mind blowing. I don't know how they're gonna fit that in that camera without overheating or having other issues. And we're gonna get into all that in a minute, editing and so forth. They also said it it's gonna probably record onto a SD card, just one slot that's a UHS-2 card slot. So that still gives me a lot of questions. What kind of autofocus is it gonna have? What kind of lenses is it gonna use? The lens that I saw was a 40 millimeter to 150 millimeter, four to 5.6 lens. If that's the kind of lens they're gonna throw on an 8K camera, that's like buying a Bugatti and then putting on some aftermarket third party tires. It doesn't really make sense. And that's why I'm a little more excited about what Canon said, but let me finish talking about Sharp and then we're gonna jump to Canon in just one second. So this camera might be like looking at a double whopper. You put it in your mouth, it tastes great, you finish it, and then about like 15 to 30 minutes later, you're like, 
Ah, oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> all right, so how do we deal with heating issues? Just putting all that processing power that's gonna have to support 8K and just having an 8K camera on a, such a small sensor, a micro four thirds sensor, it seems a little bit of a gimmick. I don't know how they're gonna do it. And then processing, is it gonna overheat? Is it gonna zoom in? We already have that 40 to 150 millimeter lens, which is gonna be the equivalent of 80 to 300 millimeters, which is kind of nuts. Like, I don't need that as a vlogger. If you have the flip out screen, I need something wide angle. So Sharp, if you're listening, please put something extra wide for us because that's what we need as YouTubers, vloggers, content creators. Okay, so let's say by a miracle, they figure all that out. They get all that done. The footage looks incredible. I put it onto my computer. My computer is immediately gonna tell me WTF. What the heck is going on here? How do you edit 8K video? Even 4K right now, my computer is like, ah, oh, don't make me do this. So I don't know if they're gonna compress that footage in their processor, which kind of defeats the point of having 8K footage. How is it gonna really look? Am I gonna have to buy a whole new computer just to edit? And then after I'm done editing, and not to mention all the file space that it takes up with external hard drives, where do I show this? Most people don't have 4K screens. Most people don't have 4K TVs or monitors. Most people are just around 1080, maybe a little better, maybe a little worse. Where am I gonna put this footage? All right, some people have 4K screens. But 8K, all right, do we wanna spend 5,000 or even $10,000 for a legitimate big 8K TV? Because 8K, to really appreciate it, you need something like a 75 inch TV or like a 100 inch TV. What I've seen, if you look at a 50 inch screen at 4K versus 8K, it's not really that huge of a difference. It's not may not be worth it. So even after all that, can people really appreciate your AK video? Now for me, as a content creator, yes, I want the best. I want to pump out AK videos every day. So on YouTube, YouTube plays AK video, but you could also watch it at 1080, at like 720 if your heart desired. And depending on your Wi-Fi signal and how fast those files load on YouTube. But where else is AK showing? I don't know, it's, it's not really, anywhere. Most people are around the 1080 to 2.7K and maybe at the very high end 4K, but even 4K isn't totally adapted into a mainstream society. 8K seems like something distant, like Elon Musk going to Mars, like people living on Mars. Maybe it's doable, but I don't know how this is gonna happen. All right, so in the future, obviously, eventually it's gonna happen, but right now, seems a little nuts. Nevertheless, I'm still excited, and I like what Canon said. Canon's top product planning executive, Yoshiyushi Mitsugushi, all right, I probably butchered his name, apologize, Mr. Yoshiyushi. What he said, basically, he told Imaging Resource that Canon is working on developing an 8K camera for their EOS R series. So Yoshiyuki said that Canon is gonna make this a full frame camera with 8K and it's they're first gonna come out with like one for everybody, like more of a consumer model, and then they're gonna make more of a professional model. So, I don't know, a consumer 8K full frame camera? That seems to be like a paradox right there. But if you follow the market, you have to have your eyebrows raised and say, what are you doing, Canon? Is this for real? First you like, everyone was coming out with 4K and you're like, hmm. I'm good with 1080, I'm good with 1080. Then all of a sudden, you're like, well, all right, finally 2018, all right, we gotta make a 4K camera, we come out with the EOS R, and you didn't really do it that great, all right? The EOS R, it still crops in 1.8 times in 4K, which for most vloggers and people like that, you're like, okay, why did you do that? 1080 is great, but you gave us the 4K, but then you made it crop in, so now I'm a content creator, I have the flip out screen, but now it's zoomed in, 
so all anyone can see are like my nose hairs like it doesn't really make sense so I will say I am excited about this because I do like Canon cameras I think their color rendition is really good I love the flip out screen their autofocus is like unparalleled so that's a big factor for me. Having the great autofocus is vastly underrated. No one does it better than Canon right now. So hopefully these other companies like Sharp, if they're gonna come out with an AK camera and they add tremendous autofocus and they have some decent lenses, man, that's gonna be awesome. But this could all be a fantasy. All right guys, if you like this video, don't forget to press that like button. Also, if you haven't done so, press that subscribe button to get more videos like this. I also wanna hear back from you what videos about content creation, drones, photography, filmmaking would you like me to make in the near future? I have a whole list of things that I like to make, but I'd like to hear from you. What kind of videos would you like to see? And again, I appreciate you guys for watching, for subscribing, for all the support. Hope 2019 is a phenomenal year for everyone. And before I go, remember, siempre pa'lante, nunca pa'tra.